Real Madrid still does not find a destination for Reynier. Antonio Blanco is close to leave the team on loan to play in La Liga. Real Madrid is the club with most shares sold in Amazon during the last season and Jorge Mendes has offered Bernardo Silva to the merengues. Let's go with that. Hi everybody, this is Merengue Corner. One of the players that is going to leave Real Madrid this summer, for sure, or that is what the club wants, is uh, Reynier. The Brazilian did not go to the precision stage in the United States with the rest of the team because it is trying to find a club where he can play this season. And most importantly, a club that can give him minutes on the pitch because uh, it is uh, in his last two years in Borussia Dortmund, he didn't play so much. Actually, actually, he almost didn't play any minutes there in Germany. So for him, it's very important that this next, next step can guarantee him a lot of minutes so he can develop his game. But the fact is that we are close to finish the month of July and Rainier still didn't leave Real Madrid. He has several options and that is why he's thinking carefully with his entourage what destination uh, he should choose. No? Uh, weeks ago, Benfica uh, had a strong interest for him and even started negotiations with Real Madrid. But a deal for the Brazilian forward collapsed because Benfica wanted a loan with an option to buy the player at the end of the loan, no? but uh, Real Madrid wanted, uh, wanted just a loan uh, to loan him, but without giving the Portuguese team uh, the option to buy him. No? Uh, that is because they believe that Reynier can become an important player that can play for the Merengues. So Benfica decided to retire from the deal because they did not agree with just a loan. And now there are two teams uh, that are interested in getting the services of Reynier. One of them is Torino in the Serie A and the other one is Valladolid in La Liga. Torino wants to have an option to buy Reynier too, just like Benfica, but, but it will be open to negotiate and to give up of that requirement if Real Madrid just want to loan the player without that option to buy him. No? Reynier is not especially convinced about going to the Italian side and would rather favor a move to Valladolid. The owner of Valladolid is Ronaldo Nazario and he has been talking to Reynier to explain him the project that the club has in their return to La Liga this season after being last year in the second Spanish division. Reynier is convinced and Ronaldo uh, say to him that he will play so many minutes during the season. The only obstacle now is that Valladolid has to sell players before getting new ones, so a deal for the Brazilian could get delayed days or weeks if it doesn't appear other team that, want, that wants to get him. Uh, moving on with other topic, Antonio Blanco is close to leave Real Madrid and according to the digital newspaper Relevo, there are two teams in the pursuit of his signing, Getafe and Girona. We have to remember that Getafe is close to seeing Borja Mayoral as well, as we said in, in previous videos. And according to the information of Relevo, right now it is the team that is the closest to get the Merengue Jonster. Girona has asked about him too, but the negotiations are more close to being finalized with Getafe. The deal will be a loan without an option to buy, because just like in the case of Reynier, Real Madrid uh, trusts Antonio Blanco too and think uh, that he may be part of the squad after he gets experience in other team first. The Spanish midfielder debuted uh, with the team 
uh, with the first team with Zidane in the 2020-21 season and because of the many injuries of the team during that year, he got the chance to play in several matches of La Liga, where he left uh, very convincing uh, performances in that year. It was expected that he would get even more minutes with Ancelotti, but the Italian manager didn't give, didn't give him opportunities and he spent the whole year in Real Madrid Castilla, the second team. Now Blanco feels ready to play professional football and that is why he wants to get minutes in any La Liga team. And Real Madrid was the leader of shirts sales in Amazon during the last season. According to a study, the merengues had, had an annual profit of 3.3 uh, million euros. Uh, Paris Saint-Germain uh, was the second team with the most uh, sold shirts in Amazon with uh, 2.2 million of benefits. And the podium is completed by Milan. Uh, the champions of the Italian Serie A league had a profit of 1.5 million of euros on Amazon thanks to their merchandising sellings. The victory of Real Madrid in the Champions League final against Liverpool increased exponentially the number of shirts that were sold on, on Amazon. Uh, it was actually a, a 166 increase of Madrid shirts uh, during that period uh, compared to the two weeks before the final. So last season was certainly an amazing year on the sporting achievements for the team but in the economic side as well, of course. <laughs> and moving on from that, uh, there is a Portuguese player that currently lives in Manchester and that wants to play in La Liga next season. And no, we are not talking about uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, we are talking about Bernardo Silva. The Manchester City player is finding a new destination. Last summer there were rumors that he wanted to leave and this transfer market, uh, he seems to be with determination to do so. So he has told his agent, uh, Jorge Mendes, to find him a top club where he can continue his, his career. And now, according to the French sports newspaper, L'Equipe, uh, Jorge Mendes has offered Bernardo Silva to Real Madrid and Barcelona, to both of them. Uh, this, uh, this last week, uh, Barcelona has shown interest in the Portuguese player, but in order to make an offer uh, to Manchester City for him, Barcelona needs to sell Frankie de Jong because of the financial fair play of La Liga. But Frankie de Jong uh, doesn't, doesn't want to leave the club this summer because he loves being in Barcelona and he loves the city as well, etc. No? Uh, that is why Jorge Mendes uh, decided to offer Bernardo Silva to Real Madrid as well, because the merengues do not have economic restrictions and can sing players without having to worry about the financial fair play of La Liga. It is unlikely uh, that Real Madrid will make an offer for the player, because uh, Carlo Ancelotti has said uh, repeatedly that the squad is closed. The only thing signing that Real Madrid is considered now is a backup striker that can play when Benzema has an injury or cannot play for any reason. No? That is the only signing that Real Madrid is thinking at the moment and it will be a, an affordable thing, a signing, no? a cheap a signing if it's possible. But an offer for Bernardo Silva will take for sure more than 50 million euros. Actually, L'Equipe, uh, the, the French newspaper L'Equipe, says that it will take 80 million euros, no? And Real Madrid doesn't want to pay that much right now for a player after spending 80 million euros on Chouameni earlier this summer. It will be an amazing signing, of course, uh, Bernardo Silva, but uh, Real Madrid is not considering at the moment, it seems, no? So, um, well, uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching the video and see you on the next one.